So the next thing I would like to show you is how we can bring in uh, our next table. So I want to do uh, that report is nice. We have a count by country and I have it in alphabetical order. So now let's go ahead. Uh, I want to see a sum of all the orders for each uh, for each customer. So let's go back into our relationships for a second. Notice how the customer's table is joined to the orders table by the customer ID field. Remember how if I click on that line, it'll show us the actual fields, customer ID here and customer ID here. So now we should be able to make a report that'll be the sum of all the orders for each customer. Let's make a report like that. So I'm just gonna go back into the report section. Now remember this page can have multiple visualizations. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the blank section of the page and I'll add another visualization here, okay? So now I want the company name to be on the side. So I'll pick on company name and drag it to where it says add data fields for the access, all right? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and, and collapse the customers table for a second and we'll get the orders table. And then we're gonna get a field that's called order amount. And I'm gonna drag that into the values right over here. Now, everybody, I want to see, uh, I want to click on this pull down and you'll have different ways to do your math. Okay, we'll do sum, average, minimum, maximum, and so on. So I do have a sum there. Good. So it looks like Quick Stop is our top customer by sales. Now, of course, I'd like to see the, now it knows which customers go with which orders because of that relationship. So if we go back here, if that relationship wasn't there, in fact, let's take that off for a second. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete that relationship. And you'll see that'll change the report quite a bit. All right, let's go back to the report now. Notice how they're all the same number, which isn't really realistic. So in order, in fact, if we move our mouse across those, they all see the same number. Well, that's not real. That's because it doesn't know which orders go with which relation with, with, with which customers. So let's come back into the data model. I'm going to reestablish that, right? So I'll pick up customer ID and drag it to the customer customer ID over there. <clears throat> now it knows which orders go with which customers uh, because of that relationship. So when, when we want to introduce another table into our report, that table has to be joined to one of your other tables. Otherwise, you get uh, unpredictable results. Now, in this case, we would like to have the data label on the report, right? So we'll go back. Uh, now, you make sure you click on that visualization. Uh, and we'll pick on the paint roller. And again, I'll do the data labels and turn those on. And now we see the actual numbers, OK? Now, these are rounded off. So if you wanted that to be more precise, then look, I can click on this pull down where it says data labels. And then there's always like more and more layers here in Power BI. So if I want to say display units, I could do it uh, none, thousands, millions, billions, or trillions. Uh, so that might help a little bit. We can add decimal places. So let's try none there. And then we'll see the actual number, right? So, but let's say we needed to round that off to a thousand. So that'll be fine. And then you can see the, it, it did do that for us. We can change the number of decimal places. And for the position, it has auto, or you can try that as well. So notice how I can keep on going further and further. So we picked on the paint roller. I picked on data labels. First, I turned those on. And then to go further with that qualifier, I clicked on the down arrow, and you see that section expanded. So I can change the color of the data labels uh, and so on, right? And change all the other uh, values as well. Very good, we can change the font. So you can start to see how we're managing uh, our reports. Now I see that has uh, a title up there. It says order amount by company name. So let's clean that up a little bit. So again, I'm gonna pick on the paint roller and I'm gonna scroll down and we see one that's called title. It is on, so I'm gonna click on the pull down. And then here I can change the actual title. So I'll say um, sum by company. 
make it nice and simple up there. And then you can see how it changed that on the report right away. And we're looking good. So we can change the font of that and so on, right? So if you know anything about your Excel charts, then these will have similar labels. So we have the, the title, we did the data labels, and some of these are self-evident. Uh, so you can, you can really make this uh, appear in many different ways. Now let's see what else I'd like to do that report. Uh, now let's go ahead and let's go ahead and add a background. So a background could be um, a background color. So if we, if we know some of these, uh, here we have the background. So then we can pick a color there, right? So let's go with like a light blue. How about um, a light blue? All right, so if that didn't work out, we can pick a different color. How about a light gray? There you go. All right, so now we're having a, a different type of report. So you see there's many, many choices over here. When we pick on the paint roller, it's more about the format of the report. So I'm actually going to go back to the white again. And just to give you some examples. All right, now let's try, okay, let's try like a red. I'll go with a bright red. Now, see how that came up really, really is bright red, but then I'll change the transparency. And now it's not, it's just kind of a, a lighter red, right? So look at that transparency as well. But we'll just go back to white. All right. Now, if you wanted that to be a picture instead, let's try something like that. So that's actually called the plot area, if I wanted a picture to be there. So we're going to say add an image. So let's say I'll go back to um, my pictures folder and let's say we added in uh, the plane. So look, for the plane, I'm going to go ahead and make that fit over here. Good. And now I'll make that transparent. So it's more like a, you know, a, light, a light picture back there. So there's lots and lots of things we can do with these charts. I'm just kind of showing you some ideas about that. In this case, I'm going to remove that plane, right? But the real point of that particular chart is we were able to pull in more than one table. We pulled the orders table and the customers table. It knows which orders go with, with customer because of that relationship.